Are the kids sleeping? I nod, going downstairs as silently as I can. I don't want to risk waking them up. The true sound of happiness is two babies sleeping for at least eight hours. We moved houses recently, and it's been quite stressful for them, but I think they'll be happy here. We have now a very nice house, and we changed the whole top floor into their bedroom, so they'll have a lot of space to play. Their happiness is the most important thing to me and my husband. He has a wonderful job, and we couldn't be more happy. Have you thought about what I told you? He asks, sitting next to me on the couch. Sorry? The party, dear. All the guys from my job are going to be there. We should go. We already talked about this. We can't. I don't feel comfortable leaving the kids with a stranger. He frowns for a second, and then calmly smiles again. Come on, the kids are old enough to stay here by themselves. We shouldn't be overprotecting them. Now I feel silly. Of course they're old enough. I guess a mother never wants to think about her kids growing up. Okay, okay, I say. But let me ask them first. After a quick kiss, I go upstairs again, where the boys' study room is. And there they are, working as hard as usual. They're wonderful young men. All of their high school teachers say it. I couldn't be more proud of them. Kids, your father and I want to go out tonight. Could you stay here and take care of the house? Sorry, Mom, one of them says. We can't. We have a party, too, and we already said we were going. We need to take Dad's car. <sighs> I sigh, going downstairs again. I should have thought so. My kids are too well-liked for their own good. The kids are going to get the car tonight, I explain once I'm next to him again. So I guess that's it. No party for us tonight. There's that frown again, just barely a second before he smiles. Now, now, don't be silly and go get dressed. I'll get everything ready. I smile, going upstairs where every single corner of the room is filled with the most beautiful clothing I'd ever seen. Should I hurry? I ask him, looking down. Absolutely not, he answers, opening the main door now leading to a party room full of people, frozen in midair with expressions of horror. I'm not going to let them move until we're ready. I smile. Being married with a reality warper couldn't be more useful.